Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch which fire game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing. Also, if you're receiving this fatal error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now, still you're facing the problem. The next step is to now this is for black screen. So if you see black screen after you immediately after you launch the game in that case, press the escape key on the keyboard. This worked for me. So it, when you see the black screen, you can take the mouse cursor, click on the black screen and then press the escape key on the keyboard and then check that should give you option to play the game. Or you can even hit the enter key on the keyboard. You can also press alt plus enter simultaneously and then check. Now the next step is to rename OpenXR folder. Now for this, go to the game installation folder. So go to library and then click on these three dots and then click on manage. Now click on this folder. This will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now over here, open this engine folder. Now open binaries, now open third party. Over here you can see OpenXR. You can make a right click and then you can name it as openxr.old. Now once you rename this folder, now launch the game. If you face any kind of uh, trouble after that, you can always revert back to the original name. So if you face any problem, you can revert back to the original name. But rename this folder and then launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to... now. If you are able to launch the game, you can try this step. If you are, if the game is not launching, you can skip this step, follow the next step. So if you are able to launch the game, switch to window mode, disable upscaling. First of all, try to turn on vSync and then check. If that does not work, you can turn off vSync and then check. Lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. So launch the game. Now once you launch the game, make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager to open task manager and then find the game over here in the list and then make a right click on the game exe file so make a right click on the game exe file now click on go to details now over here you can see the game exe file make a right click and then select set priority and then you can select high over here and then click on change priority do the same thing with the second exe file make a right click select priority set priority and then select high now click on change priority and now check the performance now go to settings and then go to video now if this is set to borderless or full screen you can switch to window mode and then lower down resolution. Now, if this is set to 4K, uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And then apply resolution settings. Confirm. Now scroll down. Now turn off the VSync. If VSync is on, turn it off. Now lock the FPS at 60. So we You can try 120 if that does not work. You can even set it to 60. And then for reflex, turn it off. Upscale, I will turn this off. And then scroll down. Now, if everything is set to ultra, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium or even low quality and scroll down you can turn off motion blur you can turn turn these options off so in my case i've turned this option off now apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website 
select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system now if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search and then scroll down the latest game ready driver right now is 537.34 so download this so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here first make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now over here click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive you can open c drive program files if you find the epic game in program files you can open program files if you find epic games in program file 686 find epic games and then over here you can find the game in my case the game is installed in different drives so open the which file game folder and then open this folder select the game exe file now click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance and then click on save now again click on browse and then open this which file folder open binaries win64 and then select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so again you can go to epic games launcher click on three dots manage and then go to the game installation folder make a active on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator or you can go to properties and then over here put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok if that does not work you can open this switch fire folder binaries win64 do the same thing make a right click select properties and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok still you are facing the problem this time try to run the game in compatibility mode now for this make a right click select properties and then this time put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work you, this time you can try windows 7 from the list so select windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game do the same thing with this exe file the second exe file make a right click select properties and then this select windows 7 for this windows 8 for this exe file and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work try windows 7 and then apply ok and make a double click launch the game still you are facing the problem in that case you can uncheck both the boxes if you face any kind of problem then in that case you can uncheck the boxes from both the exe file make a right click select properties and uncheck both the boxes over here and then click on apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to update and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security in windows 11 on the left hand side you will find privacy and security option click on it in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will find man manage ransomware protection click on it now if this is off turn it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file now click on open once the game is added again click on add and allowed app now click on browse all apps open this which file folder binary is bin64 select this exe file now click on open once both the exe files are added now launch the game now the next step is to 
verify the game files now for this go to epic games launcher go to library click on these three dots now click on manage and over here you can see verify files option so click on verify and after the verification launch the game next step is to try dx dx12 or dx11 launch option now for this on the top right here you can see a prof the profile icon click on it then go to settings scroll down you will see the game over here expand this click on it and here put a check on the box which says additional command line arguments in over here type in dash dx11 and then launch the game if that does not work you can type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check if nothing works you can remove this uncheck this box and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows 10 or 11 to the latest version so type in w i n v e r winver and then click on winver run command and make sure that your version is 2 to h2 make sure that it is up to date you have the latest version of windows 10 or windows 11 so you can open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update and once all the updates are installed over here so click on install now once all the updates are installed now you can restart your computer after updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual Studio 2015 17 19 and 20 to download x86 and then download x64 so download x86 and x64 and run both the exe file x64 and x86 so click on it and then if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install so you might see install you might see repair so if you see repair click on repair if you see install click on install click on yes to allow run the second file as well Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes and let the installation complete. Now, once both the installation are complete, restart your computer. You will see a restart option after this. So we can see the restart option. Now make sure that you restart the computer after this. I'm not restarting, but you restart the computer after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Also unplug these devices. So if you have any external devices which you're not using, disconnect it. Also disable Steam overlay. I'm sorry, uh, close all the overlay application. So if you have any other overlay application running on your computers, suppose if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner running, you can close it. If you have Viva Tuner running, close it. Also turn off, close these services or application and make sure only the epic games launcher and the game is running rest close everything including all your browsers also if you have underworlded your computer remove the underworld and then launch the game perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. Make sure that you click on hide all Microsoft services, then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on okay. You will see a restart option, restart computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory.
America. So you can type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and click on it. And then go click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here. Now select the drive where the game is installed. Uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file for all the drives. So you have to uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed. And then the initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM. So for example, this is just an example. So for example, if the RAM is 16 gigabyte, so if you have 16 gigabyte RAM, so first of all, we have to convert this into megabytes. So multiply 1024. So 16 GB in megabyte is 16,384. This is the total RAM. If you have 16 gigabyte, if you have 32, you can calculate accordingly. This is just an example. So 1.5 into total RAM. So that is in calculator. 16 gigabyte is 16384 megabyte into 1.5 so initial size 24576 the maximum size is 3 into total ram so total ram is 16384 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152 and then click on set and then click on OK and then click on OK apply OK OK now after this make sure that you restart your computer now after the system restart try launching the game now still you are receiving the error message in that case now the next step is to update the system BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a Dell computer go to Dell website if you have Lenovo computer go to Lenovo website if you have HP computer go to HP website so go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and then install the BIOS. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer, then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game now still you are facing the problem last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to ssd so you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive so if your c drive is ssd that would be great try to install the game on c drive which is ssd or you can even try to install the game on other ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.